Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. So I am doing a Persian here, and I think this is what they call a doll face Persian, the old classic Persian, which I way prefer. I'm not real practiced at doing Persian, so you get to see me take a trial run at it and fix some mistakes and we'll see how it goes. I'm voicing over and I'm going three times the speed here. So I got some shapes in there for Kitty's facial structure. So one thing about these long haired breeds is you want to be easy on the ears because the ears look really soft, especially around the outside edge because of the fluffiness sticking out. So that's what I'm really having to learn here. But I like what I've got so far. Just kind of feeling it out. It really is a learning stage for me. And each each different type of cat poses a different set of challenges. And I was used to drawing mostly short-haired cats for years because I mostly had short-haired cats. And then I got my first long-haired cat, Shanty, after not having had a long-haired cat since I was a teenager. And I started drawing long-haired cats. But Persians are still a little different than my Shant. She's, you know, more like a Maine Coon structure, I think. But I just love this pose with that little tongue sticking out. Don't be afraid to get in there and use your eraser. I don't use my eraser as much as my pencil, but it does come in handy. Sometimes I use it just to soften things, sometimes to try to get rid of it. But most of my extra lines that I end up with, I just allow to fade into background tone. We're going four times the speed here now. I did struggle with this drawing, but I learned a lot. I don't know if I even really want to say struggle. That's kind of a negative word, isn't it? Um, I did a lot of correction anyway, and I learned a lot. I'm liking that expression now. Little tongue, cute little tongue. I go easy on the lines, any lines on the face with a fluffy cat like this. Because they just don't stand out as much as they do on a short haired cat. Just a subtle hint of a chin and, and mouth line and cheeks and stuff. I really like it at this stage actually. Kind of wondering if I should have just put some whiskers on and left it at this stage. But I kept going. Some suggestions of hair. Now we're really going to speed up here. And we're going 10 times the speed. Finish up the drawing. And this is such a lovely pose. I actually, the photo, the original photo showed the, whole, showed the whole length of the cat. And I think I've had a good practice run at this face. And I think I might do an, a future tutorial that of this same pose, but of the whole body, the whole photo. So 
So thank you for joining my learning journey here, especially with this one that really was a trial run for me. Got lots more videos coming, so we'll see you next time.